So we got the text hello world in our DirectX renderer. Next we're going to give it a little color and some movement. First we're going to create an IO box color. So just double right click and select color. The IO box color can be set to UV, saturation, value and alpha values. And I'm going to make a separate tutorial about colors. The default color is green so we keep it like that for now. Once again we go to the output pin. Click on it and find the color. You see it's now white. This is the brush color. We need the color. Click again and the text is green. Now we're going to make the text circle on our renderer. We create a circular spread. Spreads are very important in VVVV and will be handled in a later tutorial. Double click on your patch and edit a node circular spread. A circular movement for the text is a changing x value, click and drag, together with a changing i value. The circular spread has got an x output and an i output and it will create this movement for us. So connect the x output to the translate x and the i output to the translate i. If we hover above the pins of the circular spread node we see an inlet called phase. Now if I right click and drag up or down you will see the text hello world rotating. So there you have your movement. If you want to automate this process we need a node that cycles from 0 to 1. The node that does this is the LFO node or low frequency oscillator. So let's make one. need the animation one. The LFO pin has got an output pin and as you can see when you hover above it the value is constantly changing. So if you connect this pin to the faster pin you will see that hello world is going to be circling. The period or speed of the circulation is one round per second as stated in the period pin. If we change this we can make the circulation go faster or slower. So if I type in 5 and click outside the node to confirm, you will see it move slower. Move it up here and to change the width of the circle and the height, you can change the width pin and the height pin. So I make the width, I don't know, 2. You see it's moving very wide now. And I make the height pin to 0. And I click to confirm. So now it moves with a width of 2 and a height of 0. It just moves to the left and to the right. Another thing we could do with the text was rotating it. So if you want to automate this process, we can either make another LFO pin with another period or use the same one. I will use the same node to show you that any outlet can go to as many inlets as you want them to. And here we have some color and movement. In the next tutorial I'm going to explain a bit more about all the other I.O. boxes.